hate doing this by myself. I miss JP. Ugh. Hey guys, it's David coming at you from Organic Price Books with a uh, David's first look at a new release that we got this week. Today we're going to be looking at Fantastic Board Volume 1, uh, the, the Hickman versions of it. So here, as you see, we have two of them. We have the standard version and then the DM. So let me show you those real quick. This is the standard, as you see here, the spine and the back. Cool, 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 cool. And then, of course, the DM, spine, and the back. Now, the, the DM, you know, if, if I know the story, which I don't think I do because I'm not a big Fantastic Four fan, I think the DM gives away the, the, the what happens, you know? This is clearly, you can see who's missing there. Uh, so, you know, I think it gives that away. So... Um, before we get started, as always, guys, if you want to be eligible to win a $25 gift card, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and subscribe to this channel. And uh, we also have our Whatnot sale, so we'll show you that video real quick. Yeah. And here we see some amazing titles for the Whatnot sale coming up in uh, the third week of March. Some great lots like the Daredevil, Fantastic Four, uh, you know, X-Men vs. Avengers, East of West, some Spider-Mans. Hulk, this Green Lantern with the custom dust jacket. And then some of the more singular titles here. As well as some manga. And we also have some more titles over there. All right, and we're back. All right, so um, uh, before we get started, um, you know, I miss JP. He's not here right now, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm doing it, you know. I'm I'm a strong, independent man, and I can I can do things by myself. And uh, I don't need JP here, you know. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna need him for the whatnot, which is coming up. Uh, but besides that, let's take a look at the book. All right, guys. So before we get started, let's take a look underneath the covers. You know, we're gonna pull back the covers. Let's see what we have. Okay. So it looks like this is the same as the dust jacket. And okay. So the back has basically the same picture as the DM version. So here's the back, the spine. Or you know what, like this for you guys. And then of course the front. All right, so let's take a look at this book. And okay, I'm not a big, like I said, big Fantastic Four fan, so if I screw some people up, I mean, I know the main characters, of course, you got Ben Grimm, you got uh, Ru uh, Reed Richards, Sue Storm, or Sue Richards, and Johnny Storm, of course, um, but I don't know much about their story. I mean, of course, you, everybody knows about Galactus, everybody knows about the ultimate nullifier, everybody knows that he can stretch. Everybody knows she's invisible. Everybody knows Johnny. Johnny Storm is a fire. And Ben Graham, of course, is the rocks. You know, he they pay, play Paper Scissors Rock, and he always, of course, goes for rocks. But besides that, well, you know what? I'm going to lie. I'm lying. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know they have their son named Franklin, who is insanely powerful, which I think this is him. And he can create universes and uh, pocket universes. I mean, he was integral to defeating uh, Onslaught or, or, you know, with that whole storyline, which I did earlier. So... I know he's pretty powerful, and uh, they also have a daughter. I forgot what her name is. I forgot what her name is. If you know her name, please let me know. And of course, they interact with nearly everybody. Oh, look! Look at this! Look at this! Captain America! Look at this! Iron Man. He's he's a uh, he's like medieval times Iron Man. That's pretty cool. I guess he's traveling in different universes, maybe. Oh, oh! They got they're kissing over here. Well, what's going on over there? So yes, I don't know this this actual story too well. I know it's a more modern tale of it, Hickman's, uh, you know, volume one. But I did hear about the death that happens in this story, which we will get to. So let's take a look. And I know they they're more of like the cosmic team. You know, the the Avengers is also cosmic, but the family, the you know, the Fantastic Four are like that family that. Uh, travels around the world and just comes back and tells you all their amazing stories or amazing adventures and you're just like I hate these people why can't I have amazing stories like that all right so let's take a look and uh, if you know of course of 
the Fantastic Four. There's a, the ultimate version of him becomes, I think his name is like the Maker or something like that, and he just becomes evil basically from the Ultimate Universe. So, um, if you didn't know that, now you know. He was also part of the Illuminati group, which is all of like the smartest, most powerful people on the planet got together, and that kind of led into the World War Hulk event and other events. So, you know, uh, Reed Richards is not all good, you know, just, yes, everybody has their faults. But I really like the way the story looks, as you, uh, so I'm trying not to bend it too much. But let's, you know what, let's open it up a little bit. There we go. Thank you for focusing camera. Guys, I'm sorry if this loses focus a lot. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm over here, I'm over here, and, uh, you know, I don't have much control of it like that. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, you are getting a little bit of gutter loss, just, just a bit. Not too much. There's no page number on this, which I don't like. Uh, did we have anything? Look, nothing in the front cover. So I kind of feel like, you know, it's an omnibus, but they didn't put as much effort into it as some of the other buses, omnibuses that we have. All right, so let's keep on looking. Uh, okay, and is this his, uh, you know, temporal machine, maybe? Oh, oh, are those other Reed Richards? Yes, so look, this one's... All of these have the Infinity Gauntlet, so they're all ultra powerful, of course. And of course, Galactus here. But yeah, the Reed Richards and the other universes are super ambitious. You know, they have the Infinity Gauntlet. I believe he makes like a, a whole, uh, a whole council of just Reed Richards, so that they can like, you know, figure out things about the universe together. So that's cool. So he's always he's considered. I think he's considered the, the smartest man in the Marvel universes. If I'm mistaken, please let me know. Uh, of course, guys. Like I said, I'm 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 not a big fanboy of these guys. Batman's my jam, but I know them. Uh, I know most of the most of the you know characters. No, not really. Maybe some of them. But not 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 even any of them. I'm just making things up as I go. Oh, Galactus is dead. Oh no, Mole Man. I know that guy. I know. So of course, you know, you know, take my 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 first looks with a grain of salt. Uh, like I said, this is going to have spoilers, so I should have mentioned that in the beginning, but I didn't. I like this because obviously he's always hot because he's made out of flames, so wherever he goes in the cold, he doesn't need it because he can just flame on and it's basically fire! Yeah, fire! They go underwater, of course. <clears throat> uh, the Inhumans, so they have to do with that as well. You got Zeus over here, or... Uh, you know, what, what's, what, let's see, uh, I'm gonna call her, uh, Horsey, I'm gonna call her Horsey, maybe that whole clan is Horsey, these are buggies, this is, uh, uh, you know, greenies and blueies, so blueies, greenies, horsies, and buggies, there you go, different races. Our most vil valiant, our son, uh, most valiant are sons and daughters. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, the co very colorful pages, though. I really like that. You know, so, you know, there are some things that are missing from the front. Like, I feel they, put a, they didn't put me detail, including the page numbers. But it is does really good look good. The paper that they picked is glossy. I like that. The colors really pop, as, as if you can see, of course, on the, on the camera. <laughs> and let's take a look. She-Hulk over here. You know, big brain time over here. And uh, this more, no, this is the Hulk, you know? Unworld, okay, cool. And then read uh, Franklin Richards, of course, using his powers. He has like so many powers, it's, it's insane. And uh, I don't know who this is, I'm gonna call him uh, Conehead Man, or Sconehead Man, because he has an S, Sconehead. <laughs> I make myself laugh, guys. Oh. Is this uh, Osborne? Is that Harry Osborne? Maybe. Old guys fighting over here? Stop. Listen. Uh, domestic abuse? Well, no, it's not domestic abuse. What is it called? Uh, when you put them into homes? <laughs> Disabled home abuse is just... That's not right. Listen, guys. This is David's life lessons for you. Silver Surfer, of course. Doctor Doom. It's funny how he's always had a thing for um, for Sue Richards, even though like she's super happily married. But he's always like, "Hey, what up? You wanna get with me? I got my own country. I got a castle. You want a castle? I got you. I'll give you a castle." 
you know? Is this one his, uh, his growth, you know, his, like, things basically grow more? Ew. I wonder if it's, like, scaly like a lizard. Like, is it an actual rock? Like, you know how rocks are cold? Is it like that, or is it like a warm, scaly kind of thing? Mmm. Something to think about. Hey. Something to think about. Oh. And Galactus shows up again. Why does he shut up? Tell me. What's going on with the story? Uh, I haven't gotten to the part that I thought I knew, but that's okay. We're still gonna go and look through this. Like I said, guys, is the colors really popping this? I like this like dark theme. I guess whatever's going on right now is kind of dark. Um, but you now, Fantastic Four have so, like I said, they've always been like the cosmic family. They travel around universes. They travel around uh, the galaxy, the worlds, fighting cosmic beings, disputing or solving disputes with cosmic beings. You got annihilation, or annihilation here. Oh, this is it. This is it. Uh, I'm going to go back. So something happened. I forgot what. And like, I think annihil uh, it's not annihilation. His name is uh, something with an A for sure. And like, basically, they're going to come into this world. So there's no way to, to really stop it. And... Basically, somebody has to stay behind and stop them from coming. And, of course, there's a... Uh, I think this is Ben Grimm. Yeah, he he goes back in there and, and he turns back into... Well, he was a human, then he turns back into a man or back into a rock. And Johnny's like, I'm the only one who can do it. And uh, the thing is like, no, stop, no. Touch fingers, they touch fingers. And like, so this is it. And then he basically flames on and he goes supernova. Annihilus? Annihilus. Ah, I forgot his name. Somebody tell me. But yeah, he basically goes supernova and, uh, but he dies. The last stand of Johnny Storm. There you go. So when you see the three, because now they're three, they're no longer Fantastic Four. And I think this kind of just follows the repercussion of what happened. Everybody's sad. Oh no! I like how we look at this whole time through these pages. There's no talking. Like usually with that, that I really like that whenever there's like a death or something. They show the pages where people aren't just are talking. They're just. It conveys more emotion when there's no need for words, you know. And I like that a lot. Like Sue here, you know, she was so emotionally hurt she wrapped herself in her bubbles, and then here's Reed trying to. Hug her, but she won't let him. She will not. So he goes to try to get answers by himself. Points an ultimate nullifier at him. The guy's like, I don't I don't give a boo. Reed is mad, of course. Oh. Oh. He shows them the uniform. That's messed up. And then there you go. There's the grave. That's crazy. Is that Ultron? Looks like Ultron. Oh no, that's Doctor Doom. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that. Spider-Man, this is so cool. I really, really like this. How it's just kind of going. Annihilus, Annihilus, there we go. Literally no talking has been going on for the last like see since here so this is like this whole part has been nothing no talking until right now that's pretty cool okay now we get more talking spider-man of course is you know he he he's a fellow he's a fellow young person hello fellow kids how are you what time are we going to go skateboard that's what I say when I go uh, around kids that are under uh, under 18. Hello, fellow children. How? Are, what are we doing today? <laughs> oh, that's messed up. I, that's only when I say to my daughter. <laughs> hello, fellow daughter. I mean, hello, daughter, fellow children. How are you doing today? Uh, okay, and then they changed their uniform. That's when they went to the... Th so they now they have the uniform with the three, the little symbol for three, because now they're three. Get it? Ah... Ah, 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 ah. And no Spider-Man joined them for a little bit after that because, you know, 
they had to uh, get another little brother for that. Uh, okay. Watu's over here, so something big is gonna happen for sure. And are those the kids over there? Yeah, they're the kids. Ooh. So, oh, there's Annihilus again. So yes, if you know what happened, guys, tell me what happened with that story after the death of Johnny Storm. Uh, but you know, I don't, I'm pretty sure he didn't die. They always come back. That's cool. I like the way they drew him here. That's really nice. Okay, yeah, when he first had the Spider-Man, then he had, this is Venom, I believe, with the black suit, or they switched over to the black suit. I like that. I like that a lot. The Sound of War, okay. Ooh, what's going on? Very interesting. I kind of really want to read this. Sorry, this is the this is the gallery. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that's how it ends. Let's take a look at the galleries that are coming are are with the book. Okay, nice, nice, very nice. Green Goblin over here. I like that. Venom, uh, the Iron Patriot, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, the Fantastic Four over there. This cover, Galactus over here is down, and he's holding the Infinity Gauntlet. Nice. That's really cool. Here they're fighting a Celestial, and here they're just being all cool and chill and such, just Spider-Man here. The four of them in the snow. I like the background effect here. Oh, I like this one with the Nihilus, this helmet up in front. Ah, look, the rock's coming off of him, that's cool. Here's a Namor with Sue Storm, who is also in love with him. I wonder if he can actually stretch that far, you know, all to wrap around Galactus. Mm, maybe. The broken symbol, I like that. That's cool. The new Fantastic Four, or Fantastic Three, or Terrific Three, I would call them. That new suit is cool. I like that. Reed Richards, an older Reed Richards, look like. The thing, nice. This black and white on the color, cool. Oh, he's a vampire, a vampire. All right, that's pretty cool. This is a more cartoony version. I can appreciate that. Okay, cool, look, a breakdown of each of them. So like, if you notice, uh, each one is basically uh, one of the little symbols. So Reed Richards is up here, uh, Ben Grimm is down here, The Thing, Invisible Woman down here, and then Spider-Man, the three of them. That's actually really cool. Okay, and it kind of gives you a breakdown of the dialogue. So that's like a script, that's really cool. I like that. And there you go, that's the, page, the end of the page, and the end of the book. Mm -hmm. So, this was a very interesting title, guys. Ooh, oh, I'm over here. Hi. Uh, it looked really cool. I liked the, um, I guess, the spoiler of the death of Johnny Storm. So if you didn't read it, now you know. I feel sorry for you. I'm so sorry. Um, did you like the story? Did you not? Tell me, do you think it's something you want to read now? Now I actually am interested just to see what happens in that. Uh, so I might take a gander at it. Mm, maybe. Uh, but besides that, um, I don't have anything for right now, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Signing off.